the importance of agriculture cannot be emphasized enough. Some of its critical roles include being the source of food, a major source of raw materials, healing the environment, and provision of jobs. In fact, agriculture is the biggest employer in Zambia, providing jobs to over 50% of all employed in Zambia as of 2019, according to the International Labour Organization. The Zambian government, through His Excellency President Edgar Chagwalungu, has identified agriculture as the key to Zambia's economic growth. From this, one can deduce that recognizing the champions of agriculture, the individuals and organizations that make significant contributions to the agriculture sector should be a very important activity in Zambia. This is what the Indava Agriculture Policy Research Institute and Musika Development Initiatives are doing through the Champions of Agriculture Awards. This platform, which has really been created by both ourselves as the Indawa Kachabori Research Institute and also our colleagues at Musika Initiatives, we thought it was important that the media is educated enough to have a lot of understanding of agricultural issues, all of it based on, on, on data. And we think that having the media in place, media mingling and reporting correctly on agricultural issues, then again, as I said earlier on, everybody will start towing in one direction. And uh, the issue of champions of, uh, of, of agriculture, we just want to motivate people to do the right things. And uh, again, if many of us start doing like that, we will definitely have great impact on agriculture development and agri contribution to the GDP of this country. Uh, the significance of this award to, uh, to Musika uh, is basically, as Musika uh, uh, Limited, we have been investing a lot of our resources uh, trying to develop the agriculture market uh, using the private sector. So our ultimate uh, goal is to reach out to the small scale farmers, but we are doing this uh, basically by engaging the private sector and building their capacity for them to develop a business model that which will ultimately reach out to the small scale farmers. Now with this investment that we have been doing for the past uh, eight years or so, uh, it has come to a point where we are witnessing the impact of this investment that the private sector uh, is doing through the Musika facilitated the, uh, activities or intervention out there. So we are working with the agribusinesses uh, to make sure that they reach out to the small scale farmers and uh, take them as their own uh, client, customers and uh, suppliers. So uh, at this particular time, time has come where I want to involve another part of the market, which is the media market. And the media market wants the media now to get involved and move from uh, a level where it is pay to play. We can only do uh, something when the people advertise or so forth, but want them now to move to a level where they can uh, they will influence the market and lobby the market and also amplify on these particular uh, activities that which we are doing. So to encourage the media and the media practitioners to uh, get involved and to participate in this particular uh, uh, agribusiness and to ensure that they can now drive the agenda in terms of uh, sharing the formation, sharing the, uh, the impact and also the benefit. We, uh, Musika and the Yapri, thought of uh, holding our inaugural uh, uh, media award uh, ceremony in May this year to try by all means to honor and recognize uh, the uh, individuals and also organization that, uh, 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 that are contributing uh, to uh, this particular uh, agri uh, business or to the, uh, to the sector in terms of outstanding uh, performance at the end of the day. So the importance to, of this award basically is to create another uh, opportunity or platform for, this, uh, for the media to take part and to participate in these particular events. In 2019, the Indava Agriculture Policy Research IAPRI Institute 
held the first ever media awards with the aim of recognizing media personnel who had made an outstanding contribution to agriculture policy reporting in the preceding year. Musika Development Initiatives, who are committed to improving the welfare of smallholder farmers through facilitation of improved agriculture market linkages with agribusinesses, had also been working towards hosting similar awards. In 2020, the two institutions collaborated and moted the 2019 Champions of Agriculture Awards. The aim of the 2019 Champions of Agriculture Awards was to recognize and honor individuals and organizations that made an outstanding contribution to agriculture development in Zambia in the year 2019. The awards were divided into two categories, the media, the storytellers, policy influencers, and agriculture practitioners. Let us talk to some of the winners of the 2019 Champions of Agriculture. Uh, yeah, so the significance of the award, um, especially to 260 brands, is that malnutrition is a national crisis here in Zambia. 35% of children under the five are stunted. Um, also, uh, smallholder farmers across Zambia face a lot of challenges, um, in particular due to COVID, um, have experienced a result in um, lower demand um, due to COVID. and. Female smallholder farmers especially face a lot of challenges, uh, we've noted in, in uh, our relationships with smallholder farmers. Uh, so our work with um, rural farmers and you know, our investments in rural agricultural marketing uh, has multiple impact in this way. Um, so as a result of working with Musika and other partners, uh, we've been able to procure and offer a guaranteed market to over 1,300 smallholder farmers. Um, and we hope to procure a larger number uh, from a larger number of smallholder farmers this season. Uh, we also uh, intend to focus uh, on procuring from 50% female farmers as well. So this results in an increase in income for the smallholder farmers and also during this time of COVID, income relief as well. And so we also offer training as well. Um, within our relationship uh, with smallholder farmers, uh, we train them on good agricultural practices, um, on climate smart agriculture, to basically increase resilience of smallholders and increase their productivity. We also distribute the nutritious products back into the community that supplies the raw materials, uh, optimizing our supply chain operations, uh, as well as developing the relationship with the rural customer. And lastly, uh, 260 Brands also, um, through this work, is able to distribute its products to 500 Antembas, which are very, very small businesses. Uh, so helping to support also these small businesses and urban areas and rural areas, basically increase their income through the sale of our products. Yeah, uh, so working with smallholder farmers has a lot of challenges, and so the more that companies are able to talk about their successes, the better. So I think the awards platform could be a great way to increase discussion amongst the private sector on the challenges that we're facing in working with smallholder farmers, and just learn from each other so that we can work together to create a more inclusive economy. We expanded our operations in Osaka. We can now hold um, about 16,000 metric tons of any commodity. Um, also, we expanded to the northern region and increased our farmers, our small scale farmers, I think, by 1,300 metric tons. So you can see how we've grown from just working with a few um, to adding more in the northern region. Also, our supply chain distribution is quite fast. We're able to source this commodity from anywhere in Zambia and we distribute it to the US consumers. So you can see our vast network the distribution has contributed. We actually um, are looking to increase by 2026 to at least work with about 6,500 small-scale farmers. So you can see our vision is to work closely with the, the small-scale farm. Also, we've worked with um, a lot of um, other parties to ensure the small-scale farmer is involved. We've worked with the likes of um, Sika, uh, Prospero, in offering, in offering training to the small-scale farmers as well as um, financing their inputs and just giving them general knowledge about the whole farming example. Yeah. 
So the criteria that we use in choosing the champion of agriculture in a given year is based on a lot of factors. But the most important one is somebody who uses data uh, to advocate for policies for agriculture in the country. Somebody who will be at a conference and represent Zambia properly, talking things from a factual point of view. Somebody who is actually practicing, he's in the field. Somebody who may be already a professional in the field of, of, of agriculture. Or somebody who sits on a very influential committee that relates to agriculture development for this country. So for 2019, we chose Honorable Maxas Nwonga. Maxas Nwonga was a former deputy minister in agriculture. He's a member of parliament for Kaputa. He is chairing right now the Committee on Agriculture and Natural Resources for, for our, our, our parliament. He is always with us whenever we have any debate related to agriculture development in this country. The Champions of Agriculture 2020 entries will be announced in early 2021, so look out for the details. Right now, let us take a look at the full list of winners for the Champions of Agriculture 2019.